Welcome to Munchkin Land, a show where we sit around and we play board games, and it's time for another visit to Arkham Horror, the living card game. And Brad is here again with me this week. Hey. Brad, we have been investigating Arkham and all the mysteries around Arkham for a while now, and yeah. things are not adding up. No. And this is called Dunwich, not Arkham uh, Legacy. Right. So I bet this week we're finally going to make our way it's time, to it's Dunwich. It's time to get up to Dunwich Village. So we are now in the Essex County Express, which is the fourth, I'm sorry, the third expansion for the Arkham Horror Living Card Game, The Dunwich Show Legacy. And uh, so scenario three starts out like this. Scenario, oh, I just, this is the numbering is so I know, the, the numbering is really, really Jeez. odd. Scenario three, the Ex Essex County Express. Recent events in the museum have forced you to reevaluate Armitage's tale of Dunwich. It cannot be a coincidence. Wilbur Waitley, the Necronomicon, the creature from Dunwich, and the people and the creatures who attack you here in uh, Arkham, everything must be connected. You're certain now where you must head, the lonely and dismal town of Dunwich Village. Now, wait a minute. How lonely and dismal is Dunwich? Oh, it's pretty dismal. Read, read that first paragraph. <laughs> how many people How many people live in Dunwich? I don't know. How many people live in Arkham, do you think? I don't know. Come on, you got to have some thoughts about that, because I have some thoughts about population there, size. There are people, and then there are also the proto-people who live there. Mm -hmm, do yeah, do yeah. they count? Uh, you consider telling the Massachusetts State Police what you know, but the negative consequences outweigh the potential gain. Given the nature of your story, they would likely write you off as some kind of a, a absurd hoax. Worse, they could lock you up. After all, you were present in an illegal speakeasy, and you also trespassed in the museum. Instead, you decide to head to Dunwich yourself in order to investigate further. You pack everything that you think you might need and manage to get some rest for the night. In the morning, you head to the train station in Northside and purchase a last-minute ticket on the Essex Express. Dunwich is several hours by train northwest along the Miskatonic River Valley. There is no train station in Dunwich, but you manage to phone one of Armitage's acquaintances in a small village, a man by the name of Zebulon Waitley. Yeah. Zebulon? <laughs> He's not a... Waitley? His... Yeah, Zebulon was present during the events several months ago. Yeah. Armitage's notes indicate that the Waitley uh, family is spread across many branches, some decades and... Some, some decadent... Yeah and unscrupulous, others undecayed or otherwise untouched by nefarious and, dia and uh, diabolic rites. According to Armitage, Zebulon's branch of the family lay somewhere between the decayed and undecayed, those who know of the traditions of his ancestors but was not corrupted by them. Zebulon agrees to pick you up at the closest station and drive you into town. As the train departs from Arkham, you feel the events of the previous night catching up to you and exhaustion sets in. But before you can safely re reach your destination, the train car suddenly rumbles and shakes, startling you out of your reverie. The train loudly skids to a violent halt, and you hear a rattling noise behind you. And thus begins the Essex County Express. Now, the setup for this, uh, so we've got the Essex County Express cards. We've got the uh, From Beyond, the Striking Fear, the Ancient Evils, the Dark Cult, uh, those are all mixed in into our encounter deck. We've also laid out our train. And this is going to be interesting because essentially we're moving from left to right. I yeah. mean, we could move from right to left if we wanted to, but I don't think we will want to, yeah. as we will discover. That would be counter to... Uh... To what we have to get done. Yeah. Um, now, a couple of things about uh, the way this is set up. Uh, we've laid our cards out. It did tell us that we are starting in the very last car uh, and to flip that card over. And if there was a forced effect on that card to ignore it. Okay. The other thing, Brad, why don't you read this card right here? All right, so the rest of the train cards each say, train car is connected to the locations to the left and right of it. You cannot enter train car. I love that. You cannot enter train car unless all of the clues on the location to its left have been discovered. Now the interesting thing is, just out of luck, and this is the way that it was shuffled up into this deck, we start with zero clues in that dining car and so we're able to just basically move right to the next car if we want to. And this is a great, I mean, what a ridiculous stroke of luck. It was. And this is totally, I mean, yeah. the way it's shuffling everything in. Because we're, you, you say we're supposed to ignore the forced effects. It says, it says right here, um, 
If that location has a forced effect that triggers upon entering that location, ignore it. So the forced effect here is to find a grappling horror monster. Oh, thank goodness we don't have to yeah, do that. Yeah. Would we have to gone into the deck to find into yeah, the Yeah, oh, we okay. search it right. out. Yep. The other thing is we had to set aside some cards that will probably come into play and be a pain in the butt later. Uh, we also, based on the difficulty level, add the following chaos tokens to the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. And because you, our Patreon members at patreon.com slash major spoilers, said we should play this on the easy version. I don't know if it's because we're stupid or because you wanted to uh, enjoy the story. You said we could play it on easy. So uh, for the rest of the campaign, we have now added a minus two token into our bag, which brings our um, bag total now to 18 cards. Tokens. Tokens. Yep. And how does that affect our odds? So our our, our odds this week, um, if we were at even, if we were just straight up, you know, the same skill level as the uh, challenge level, we only have a 33% chance of success. That's not too bad, but it means we're going to have to start spending some things and... Right. And, and an advantage of one has a 66% chance in the first agenda card. So as we move oh, okay. through agenda cards, the skull tokens have a uh, more negative effect. Okay. So so as we get deeper into the game, our odds go down more, um, which is disheartening. So we got to go quick, very fast. Yeah. So when you uh, so on this, when you say disadvantage, the disadvantage is to the game. So it's actually our advantage. no our our disadvantage. So if you if you have a disadvantage have a plus of one, one, if you have a disadvantage oh, okay. of one, you need a plus one token, and therefore you have only an eleven percent chance of success. So if your if your skill level is one below the challenge level, you only have an eleven percent chance of success oh, okay. because there are only two plus one tokens okay. in the bag. I get it. Yep. Or, well, now for you, for me, right? Your elder sign is actually like a plus two or yeah, something. Yeah, but that's right? still yeah. My elder sign is a plus two, but still. Yeah. Uh, disadvantage for a minus one is 17% if yeah. I have a plus one. So, And that elder thing that we added because Daisy took the, the Necronomicon, Necronomicon. that's yeah. a minus three. Ouch. Yeah, that All is right. a big ouch. Well, we should probably uh, pick our five cards okay. uh, and see where we sit. Hmm. I have a weakness card I need to get rid of. I'm going to I'm going to ditch that card also. I think I'm, and these are totally discarded. Actually, or we shuffle them back into our. I think deck. the weakness card you replace first, and then you yeah, do yeah. the mulligan, right? right so right, there's right. the weakness card out. All right, and now I will deal with mulliganing. But are we shuffling these? We are shuffling these back into the deck, right? Yes. Okay. But after you pick your replacement cards. Okay. All right. So there are two more cards I'm going to take out for my mulligan. Yeah, I'm going to just get rid of uh, two cards, and I'm going to draw two new cards. This is the first time I've done that okay. in the game. And hmm, now I have to stay with these, or can I do a complete mulligan at this point? That's it. So okay. so you mulligan. Okay, so you got rid of your weaknesses, then you mulligan, yeah. then you stand pat. All right, well, that sucks. I think. I mean, you can look up the rule. No, if that's want, okay. I might be, if I'm wrong. Well, the thing is... I mean, if it sucks, check it out. I was trying to get a weapon, and I did not get a weapon. So. Well, that's... Depressing. Let's let's yeah. double check. Maybe you can just mulligan and. No, I don't think you can do that. Yeah, it would be. That I think would there's be. a certain number of times that you can do that. Yeah. I'm sure. But I do think the mulligan is a key. I mean, that is a key part of success here. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. You just get the one. That's okay. The one shot at it. One shot. That's okay. All, All right. right, so we've got our we've got our cards. I don't know. I think I'm I'm okay without a weapon, um, only because if we're supposed to be moving through these trains, as it's saying here, we need to find clues. And I actually drew a bunch of cards that helped me with clue finding. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and read our agenda and our act, oh, Brad, right. and let us get started with this game. Agenda one A. A tear in reality. As the train to Dunwich comes to a jarring stop, you look out the window behind you and see an immense tear in the sky, like a rip in a piece of cloth. Several of the rearmost train cars are pulled backwards, and there is a dreadful metallic crunch as they are detached 
The train cars topple upwards and into the rift in the sky. Nearby passengers are panicking. Others are cowering in their seats, and one elderly man has fainted in fear. Oh, no. Run! <laughs> or, or, excuse me, run. <laughs> the train has stopped on a bridge high above the Miskatonic River. You might be able to survive the fall, but you don't like your chances. Your best bet is to make your way to the engine car as fast as you can and get the train running again. The objective here is if an investigator enters the engine car, immediately advance. So there are no clues to spend or anything like okay. that. We just have to get to the so engine it's a car. Run. It's a run. Yes. Okay. Is, and we have uh, uh, four. Mythos. It is four doom Dooms. on the uh, on the. Okay. Card. All right. Uh, do you want to go first, or would you like me to go first? You know, uh, you're really good at kicking down doors. All right. Then I will go ahead can... and go first. So I will, since it says that I have to uh, have zero tokens on the car before it. Yep. There are zero tokens, so I'm just going to move right over here, Brad, and read to all me right. what it says. Death. You all die. The end. <laughs> Passenger car. Uh, the shroud of one. There are three tokens per investigator. So there are six clues here. This is going to oh, take us a while. Wow. Um, Forrest, after you enter passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least a total of two agility icons or take two damage. I should have bought my stuffs before I have to discard. Yep. Uh, so what does it say? Is that forced? Yes. So discard cards with two agility icons or take two damage. Ouch. Oh, well, boo. Boo, indeed. All right, well, I'm going to lose Elusive and Backstab. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and spend two tokens to get a flashlight to help me search for clues, which will give me three supplies. And what's the Shroud in here? Shroud of Shroud one. Shroud of only one. And we are testing our intellect, right? Yes. My intellect is three. I'm beating it by two. Well, okay, now hang on. So, yeah, so you're beating it by two. Yeah. So uh, that's a advantage of, I mean, there's a 66% chance that I'm going to win, right? Um, or, I'm sorry. Elder, so I'm at a plus two. It's about a 90% chance. 90% chance. So yep. I'll go ahead and investigate. All right. Second action. That is my second action. I get a minus one. All right. So I get one of these clue tokens. And then I'll go ahead and investigate again for my third action, since I can't move forward. Okay. And I get another minus one. All right. So I now have two clue tokens. I'm really surprised that's three clues per investigator. Thank goodness we're not playing a party of four or something. No kidding. All right, and that is my turn. All right. Um, I'm going to do something kind of weird. Okay. We're going to spend four resources. Well, now that you know that you're going to have to get rid of cards whenever you come into the train. Well, i got no cards to get rid of, so I'm going to have to take some damage. Uh-oh. I'm going to bring up my ally, Dr. Milan Christopher. He gives me an intellect of plus one, so my intellect is effectively six now, which is okay. pretty crazy. Okay. But as a reaction, after I successfully investigate, I gain one resource. So I think okay. he's going to pay for himself okay. pretty quickly yeah. here, actually. Uh, so... I'll go up there, I take two damage. Ouch. Yeah, that really does stink because Daisy only has five hit points. So that's yeah, kind of cut Hopefully there's cut not more half. of those that are coming up. Yeah. And for uh, Daisy's um, third action, I will go ahead and investigate. I have six, the shroud is one. Oh, I got my Elder, elder Sign. sign. So oh, do you get something magic that happens? I that? would if I had a tome, I would get to draw a card, but oh, okay. I don't have any tomes. So I get the clue. I also get a resource. And I am finished. Spend move. Oh, you paid for your guy. Yeah, okay. Um, got, got no me. enemies, so now we can just go right into the upkeep phase. Reset your cards. Uh, ready all your exhausteds if you have any exhausteds. Each investigator draws one card. Oh, nice. And gets one resource. Thank you. Okay. Um, check your hand size, which I don't think is a problem hand right now. Hand size is fine. And then we will move into the mythos phase. So we'll drop a token. 
and we'll take an investigator card, and I get Claws of Steam, Power, Revelation, Test my willpower of three. If you fail, take two damage and you cannot move from this location this round. Damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets first, if applicable. Mm. All right, so I have to test my will, which is two. I have nothing that will boost my will. Wait a minute. Nope, I have nothing that will boost my will. I also do not. I can't give you okay. anything. Sorry. All right. And I get a minus two. Ouch. So I failed by three. Uh, Dan, let's see. If you fail, take two damage and you cannot move. So I'm also taking two damage. Uh, oh. This may not be as easy as I thought it was going to be, Brad. Yeah, maybe not. All right. Oh, and I, let's see. I also cannot, uh, damage from this effect, okay. You cannot move from this location in this round. All right. That's not, not going to be a problem. Oh, look. It's an arcane barrier. Oh, no. Yeah. Attached to your location as an additional cost to move into or out of attached location. Test test will of four. Um, so that's a thing. All right, so here's here's the deal. You're not going anywhere. Nope. Um, so I can just investigate away. Yeah. How about if I how about if I spend some resources, do a couple of investigations, let you wrap up the investigations and do whatever. So. So do you want me to go first? No, I'll go first because. Here's what I'm thinking. If I can spend all of my turns grabbing clues, then that's fewer clues that you're going to need to do, which means you can then bust that that uh, spell open and move to the next car. Unless you want me to bust the, to the next car and take those damages. Is that you what you're know, thinking? You I, know, I would be happy for you to bust the next okay. car and take right. that damage. No, you, but, you go ahead and but first. no, however, I kind of like where you're going with that, in fact. Um, Okay, let's let's do that. Okay, so for my first action, just because I don't want to lose this, I'm going to uh, do my emergency cash, which is a zero cost, okay. and I'm going to gain three resources. Then I'm going to investigate my location for my second action. Okay, and I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm I'm um, up by. I'm sorry. Uh, we are testing intellect. I'm up by two on that. Yeah. Okay. Zero. Good job. So there's one. And for my third action, I will investigate again. And I get a plus one. All right. So I get another clue, which leaves one clue for you. Yeah, one clue for you, Brad. All right. And then some door but or some door hexing aways. So I'm going to spend two resources. Okay going to pull out Daisy's encyclopedia. That's my first action. Okay. It's my second action. I will investigate. I have six minus one. I'm up by five, which is absurd. Yeah, crazy times. But I got Ooh. a skull minus one, I believe. Uh, minus X. X is the current agenda number. So yep. this is the first agenda, so that's minus right. one, so you still win. All right, so I get, so get the last clue. clue. I also get a resource All from right. Dr. Milan Christopher. Okay. And uh, I need to make a will to... test for my move action. So my test will at four, my will is three. And that will, and that's a move, or is that, do you do that, do you do this during your move? As my you move. Do, it's okay. an additional so cost to So you are going to, to go into Yeah, I'm other. going to move. Okay. And I'm going to use my encyclopedia to boost my will up to five. So I have five, my... You're at five, two, it's four? I'm five, so I'm up by one only. Okay. I could have thrown something in, but okay. Nah. Okay. Plus one. Excellent. No problem. Arcane barrier is gone. Daisy's getting good at getting through those arcane yeah, barriers. Yes, she is. Must be that Necronomicon knowledge that yeah. she has. So the parlor car. The parlor car cannot be investigated. Mm. Spend three resources. Discover one clue in the parlor car. And there are two clues per investigator. Oh, so this is going to cost us... Oh, so this is just spending resources. Well... Now I have. Nope, that's oh, no. Nope. That's okay. I've got resources. That's why I spent my. That's why I got my resource card out. So okay. I can spend 
And we have to spend three resources? Three resources to get one clue. clue. So okay. basically six. Now I've also got an yeah. emergency place to oh, find right, right. stuff in right, my right, hand. Right, right, right. Okay, well, that is uh, the end. So we'll flip our cards. Because there are no, no enemies. No enemies. All right. Uh, ready all your exhausted cards. Done. Take one card and one resource. Okay. And uh, now we can move into the Mythos phase. So there's number two. All right. And I get Helpless Passenger, Ally, Bystander, Surge. What does Surge mean? Draw another card. Okay. Do well, I do that now? Yeah, okay. no. Revelation. Uh, put Helpless... Oh, thank goodness this doesn't get rid of one of my allies. Put Helpless Passenger into play at the location to the left, to your left, or at your location if you cannot. Parlay. Take control of the helpless passenger. Forced. If helpless passenger leaves play, each investigator lose takes one horror. Oh crap. Wow. Okay. So he's going there. So I have to move back, take him, and then move forward. Right? I yeah. guess so, yeah. So move back, take him, and taking him is a parlay. It's a parlay. So, so I just move action. back and I take him. Yeah. And that's an action, right? That's, so that would be two actions. And then I have to move forward again. Yeah. And there's a forced on this one? No? Um, yes. After you enter the passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with a, a total of two uh, agility tokens or icons uh, or take two damage. Crap. Yeah. Or we could take the horror. And is it one or two horror? We each take one horror. Now, I, I have room for nine horrors. Well, so. I've got room for eight, but I mean, if this is going to keep happening, crap it. Okay, your turn. You go ahead and grab your oh, card. Yeah. Claws of Steam. Power. Revelation. Test will at three. If you fail, take two damage, and you cannot move from this location this round. Uh, damage from this effect must be assigned your assets first if able. That would go... Oh, no, that would go to uh, Dr. Milan Christopher first. That would be bad. That would be really bad. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I have a window where I can spend a resource and get plus two. Okay. No, wait, do I have five cards, man? One, two, three, four, five. I do. Okay. So I will spend two. I'll get plus two will. So my willpower is at five. Test is at three. So I'm at plus two. Okay. Minus one. I did it. All Excellent. Right, no problem. So that's gone. All right, so here's the thing. I don't know how many of these helpless passengers are in this deck. Yeah. If there's five of them, we're in trouble. Right. right. I mean, well, I, I've, I mean I've, got, I've got a health of eight. Yeah. And I'm already down by two. So if we let this guy go, I will automatically be down one more. But when, if he dies... Now, the problem is, I have no agility cards to get rid of, so if I move back and move forward, I'm going to lose two health. So here's, and here's the other thing. So he is an ally card. Right. And you noticed that Steam card targets allies first. Right. And he has only one health and one horror. But if he dies, he I'm dies. still going to You're take it. Right, so you could go back and rescue him and then... Something might happen to him later. And then, but I'm still going, but we'll still each take damage if he dies, right? Right, right. So it's almost like, I I don't think I should take him now. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to sacrifice him. I mean, I'm not going to go back for him. Now look, you know how this is going to be. Like, yeah, but for look, every helpless passenger who dies, we're going to have to add a minus seven uh, token to the bag or something like that. But but I, I'm, I'm with you. I, I at just, this point, with, with this train, with this car... This is a detriment to me. Yeah, yeah. And so I, and I can't, I can't enter it and then enter it yeah, again. Yeah, because you're going to, yeah, because yeah, it'll be. There's the no same way thing. I can do it. Yeah. Right. <sighs> Sorry, dude. Yeah. Sorry, helpless passenger. I'd like to help you, but you're too helpless. I am. So I'm gonna move forward. Okay. Is there a forced on this one? Uh, no, there okay. is not. Um, I'm going to, and the shroud on this one is. Three. three, but oh, there's this not is investigation. The, oh, that's right. You spend, so I just spend three resources. Yeah. 
And look, I can, you know, if you don't want to go all the way with this, I can also spin three. I can, you know, get some stuff. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend three resources, and I'm going to take a clue. Okay. Okay? Then I'm just going to sit here, and I'm going to draw a card. Okay. And that will be my turn. That's your three actions. Right? Sounds, will that be okay for you? Sounds good to me. Okay. Oh, nice. That's exactly, that played out very nicely for us. Okay. Okay, so my turn is done. All right. I am going to, for my first action, uh, look into this uh, emergency cache I found here in the parlor oh, okay, car. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm going to dig into this parlor car emergency cache, get three resources. And then spend three resources. Then I will spin. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have. <laughs> Duh. All right, I will spin three resources and get a clue. Should have gotten a clue a while ago. <laughs> All right. And so that was your second action? That was my second action. So you could move ahead. I can. Or you could take a card or you could do something else and let me move ahead. But then again, that's if we're trying to run to the engine as yeah, quickly as we can. We're way ahead of. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think we should try to get as ahead of the agenda. We're way, oh, okay, all right. All right, I'll move up to the next train car, which turns out it is the, it is another passenger car. Oh, oh, great. No, because forced, after you enter passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least a total of two willpower icons or take two horror. I've got neither of those either. Wow. Or take two horror. Yeah. And that's the that's the brains, right? Right. So I had, yeah, I do not have was two. This one horror. No, that was uh, okay, agility that was and damage. Okay. All right. Well, I can do that. I cannot do willpower, so I will have to take the two horror. Wow. And so we really don't need these clue tokens, right? Or do we need these? Clue I tokens? don't think there's anything we can do with them, but uh, I'll just I wouldn't let them pile up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there are four clues on this. Oh boy. And the okay. shroud is two. All right. So there are two token two clue tokens per investigator. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So now there are no enemies. Right. So we can just flip. And um, ready all your exhausted cards. We're right. gonna draw a card. And I'm gonna gain a resource. That's a nice card. Check your deck. Yep, doing fine. Okay, and now we go on to the mythos phase. So we add one. Oops. And I will draw a grappling horror hunter. While you are engaged with grappling horror, you cannot move. Okay, mm. so I cannot move. Okay. It has a punch of three, a, a health of three, and an agility of two. So I could evade it, but it's just going to hunt us down. I probably, it has a punch of one and a brain of one. I mean, yeah. What? No, three. A damage of one and a sanity one. Oh, it, it does, yeah. Okay. Because. Yeah. But its fight is three. Its fight is three. All right. All right. My draw. Terror from beyond. Hex, terror, peril. You cannot help me. Revelation. Choose one of the following card types, asset, event, or skill. Each player must discard each card in his or her hand that is of the chosen card type. If this is not the first copy of Terror from Beyond drawn this phase, choose two card types instead. No, please I, don't take any assets. I, okay, I'm going to lose something here no matter what I do. So no assets. I would rather hang on to my events. If I'm going to have to lose a skill, I'm just going to have to, I guess. Um, yes, yeah, skills are fine because I don't have any. Okay, those. so I will discard deduction. And if I don't have anything, do I take something else? No. If I don't have those? No. Okay, all right. So there we go. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I would rather not take damage from this thing. Okay. But I would like to buy some things. So I think the first thing that I need to do is evade it, right? So if I evade it, it goes to exhausted. Right. Then I can spin my. Then I can spin things. Yep. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invade. So what I'm going to do is I want to really evade this guy hard. 
So I'm going to spend two resources because my Streetwise gives me plus three to my uh, agility. So I'm at a plus seven okay. against its two. Okay. I really was up by two anyway, but... All right, what is that? That is the crack token. Minus two, add one doom token to the nearest cultist enemy. There are none. None. Okay. So I beat it by five, so it is evaded okay. at the moment. Okay, for my second action, I'm going to spend... I'm really going to be spinning tokens here. I'm going to spend my last four resources, and I'm going to pull out my 45 automatic. Nice. And it has four ammo on it. And for my third action, can I I can attack it, right? I can I can Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack it. Um I'm gonna spend one of my um forty-five ammunitions okay. to pump up my, my fight by one, which puts me at four against its Three. Three. That's, I'm a one up. I'll tell you the other thing you could do. Well, no, you've already committed to this. No, yeah, I'm right. committed to it. No, right. um, shoot, I wish I would have gotten this other card out. Oh, you know what? What? Let's talk about this. If you were to move... It's, gonna, it's going to hunt no, us. It's no. the hunter. Right, but it's going to hunt us. Not, it's not going to come immediately. Right. We're going to get a turn. Oh, so you're thinking instead of uh, attacking it, just move. Yeah. Now we could... Yeah, that, that's, that's cool because then that should allow me to get and we might another end up, card. I need another card out. But we might end up getting like a couple of these guys on us. That's the drawback. So maybe... maybe I think I should shoot it. Maybe shoot it now. Okay. Uh, I've got... You don't have to shoot it now. I'm going to shoot it now. So I'm beating it by one, right? It's three. I'm at four. Yes, you're beating it by one. And I got a minus two. Ah. Uh, so does, now, does it immediately it does engage not have retaliate? No, no. Okay. No. Shoot. So evade, purchased, shot it. Yep. Okay, I'm out, and I'm also out of resources. So if you have anything that could give me resources... Well, I don't, because... Because we're not in the same location. And we don't have the trade card either, so... Oh, that's, that's not right. really a way to do that. Sorry. All right. Sorry, this is Charlie. Gonna be, this is going to be hard. Oh, uh, God dang it. So here's what I'm going to do. Lacking any other significant thing, I'm going to exhaust my encyclopedia. Okay. And I'm going to give myself plus two to my intellect, which will put me at seven, eight with Dr. Milan Christopher, which okay. is really ridiculous. Um, and I'm going to investigate for right. my first action. The encyclopedia was a free action. Skull, minus, minus one. one. So it's fine. I get a clue. And I also get a resource. Okay. For my second action, I am going to also investigate minus one, fine. For my third action, I think I am going to, oh, I also get a, a resource. Okay. My third action, I'm going to spend two resources, and I am going to um, I'm going to make a preposterous sketch um, because there's still a clue in my location, so I can do that for two okay. resources. All right. And the preposterous sketch will allow me to draw three cards, none of which was a weakness card, which is great. And I'm finished. Okay. Uh, so now it's the enemy phase. Enemies with the hunter keyword move towards the nearest investigator. Each invest engaged enemy attacks if able. Not it's engaged. Exhausted, it's already there. So uh, upkeep fee. Uh, um, upkeep phase. So ready our guys. Ready. Exhausted. Now he's now he's going to engage you. Okay. Um. Draw a card. Yep. Yeah, draw a card. Interesting. Get a resource. 
which I need more resources now. Five. Okay, so now the agenda is going to advance. All right. The rearmost car of the train detaches as it is pulled backwards. To your horror, it rises off the tracks and is consumed by the gate above you. Remove the leftmost location from the game or place it on the victory display if it has victory X. It does not. And no clues on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, each investigator at that location is defeated. Each enemy and asset at that location is discarded. Discard all clues controlled by the investigators. So, so he's we gone. Discard so we the lose, passenger. And we get a damage. We take minus, or we take a horror. We each take a horror. I can. All right. And the maw widens. The tear grows larger, and you can feel the rearmost car of the train shaking as it is pulled backwards. The situation threatens to erupt into chaos as more passengers realize the danger they are in. Some passengers are looking for places to hide, while others are running about the compartment in terror. Great. All right. I'm going to get pushed into the beyond. Hex. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three cards of the deck. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horror. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck. Okay, looks like I'm losing flashlight. Yep. By the way, we were supposed to discard all of our clues. Oh, okay. That we had gained. Why? Uh, because that's what it said at the end, at that oh, okay. agenda. I skipped it. All right, so flashlight goes into my deck. Yep. I shuffle my deck. We did, we did this last time. Yeah. Let's Stuff passed into the beyond. And then I draw, discard the top three cards. So I'm going to discard uh, Derringer. I'm going to discard On the Lamb. And I'm going to discard Physical Training. Those are all three good cards. Okay, your turn, Brad. All right. Emergent monstrosity, oh, no. monster, abomination, spawn, the location to your right or your location if there is no location to your right. Emergent monstrosity enters play exhausted. The creature erupts from underneath one of the seats, growing ceaselessly in mass and volume, threatening to envelop the entire compartment. So it has a fight of four, five hit points, an agility of three. We're going to die. It does two damage and two horror when it attacks. So it is. Is it, it got a hunter? No. It so it's just not. waiting there for us. Yeah. So whatever, in addition to whatever other thing that is waiting for us. Right. We also have to fight that thing. Yeah. All right. Well, I might as well go first. <sighs> God dang it. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's what I should have used. All right. Anyway, I'm going to spend another gun. I'm also going to throw in my sneak attack, which will give me plus one, which will give me plus one to this fight. So I'm up by two. Okay. And I get a minus two. So I hit it for, let's see, spend one ammo. You get a plus one if this, uh, if you, this attack deals plus one damage. So it'll take two damage. This card goes away. Oh, mm, do I want to get rid of that card? I got to kill this monster. So I'm going to get rid of my hard knocks, which... Now, listen, is that because you're going to take some horror when you pass up into the next train car? If you can't discard um, will... I have, I have no will. Oh, okay. I have no will. Oh, okay, I thought that was the one that no, gave no. you will. I have hard knocks. All right. So I'm going to do that and get rid of another ammo. Okay. And you, you know we've got this gigantic thing. I know. Okay. But I've got to get there first. Okay. Well, that's so true. I'm up by two. And I draw a minus two again. Okay. So it is dead. Wherever that goes. I guess it goes into the... General discard. General discard. Yes, that's the passenger. Okay. So that 
So for my third action, I'm just going to move. Yeah. And take two insanity. Okay, I'm mm. halfway done with my sanity, Brad. Yeah, I'm halfway, almost halfway done with my health. Okay, Stephen, here's what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? I... Man, this could be the first time we lose, Brad, and we thought this was an easy... Oh, we're not going to lose. Easy freaking game. We never lose. Since it's free, I'm going to go ahead and tap my encyclopedia and give myself plus two to my intellect. Okay. Which puts my intellect at... I think I said seven before, but it's actually eight with Dr. Milan Christopher. So five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, You're going to get one of them clues, huh? And I will investigate. So I'm at plus six. Plus one is plus wow. seven. Okay. Might as well do it again. And I get a resource from Dr. Milan Christopher. Now, does that go for the entire round, or was that just for that one turn? I get it. For that one action. Keeps, he just keeps oh, okay. doing it every action. Okay, every cool. time I investigate successfully. Apparently he is an entomologist, so he's... Very good know, at words. Picking... Or bugs out of words. Bugs out of words, yes. Second investigation. Plus one again. There wow. I swear, I, I shuffled yeah, those no, up. No, no, no. Really all right, so all the clues are and done. another resource. And another resource. God, now I look, I'm not rushing up there, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Because um, it'll engage with me. What I am going to do is I'm going to spend one resource. And I'm going to ready my knife. Oh, good. Because I have a feeling that even after yeah, you stab that thing, I'm going to need to stab yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so you're done. Yeah. I have some mystical means of reducing its fight value. But All right, this guy's exhausted, so he doesn't do anything. So oh, wait, no. Oh, too late. I shouldn't have done the knife. Why? No, I should have done my spell I have. Hmm. You'll still have time to do it before you move into the That's car. That's true. That's true. Why not do it all? All right. Uh, upkeep phase. So we reset. Mm -hmm. uh, all un unexhaust all your things. Okay. Uh, draw one card. Hmm. Shoot, man. I need resources bad, Brad. I, I got, I can't, I've got stuff. I just can't give them to you. Okay. I, I should have just not spent all my resources buying a clue. Uh, oh, yeah. We also get a resource. Oh, yeah. And then we place one on the agenda. And we draw a horrible card. I get, oh shoot, Wizard of the Order. Humanoid cultist. Spawn any empty location. It has retaliate. Forced at the end of the mythos phase, place one doom on the wizard's order. He's just going to sit there. Right. Because he doesn't move. He doesn't have. Yeah. At the end of the mythos phase, place one doom. So he's going to. He's going to double he's gonna, it. Tri yeah. So, but, but it'll also, if this card disappears like the other one does. He's out of it there. Yeah, so that'll that's trigger what I'm thinking. Quickly, but that's all right. Is that what we want to do? Yes, I okay. think we're 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 doing adequate. All right, go ahead and take a card. Oh yeah, rotting remains. Revelation test will at three for each point you fail by take one horror. Well, my will is three, but I'm going to use this window to spend a resource to give myself plus. Whoops, that's all right. Plus two will for the skill test. Hey, lady. <laughs> I, I I hope you cut that so that was on camera. <laughs> it's good to be the director or yeah. the editor, though, isn't it? Yep. Um, yeah. All right, so what do you have to do? All right, I have to uh, test will at three. So okay. I gave myself plus two will. So my will is five. So I'm at plus two. Okay. Minus two is good enough. So you beat that. I did. The rotting okay. remains. That was pretty quick. Uh, you know, for I mean, I, I take it that somebody probably got trampled in the past. Oh, yeah, car, I'm sure. But, but they were rotting already. Yeah, they're already rotting. Yeah, I guess that's, some... that's why we lost that. We took yeah. some horror damage to. All right. Investigator phase. 
I'm going to spend. Uh, mm, yeah, this is it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to spend two resources, Brad, to get extra ammunition. Place three ammo tokens on the firearm asset controlled by an investigator at your location. Nice. Well, Finally, that pays if I can off. Get, if I can get four resources quickly before this, I can use my double the amount of ammunition on any uh, card. Yeah, I don't see that. So that was my first action. My I mean, second we could, action. You could just sit here and pull resources, but you'd still only get to three by the next turn. So. Oh, no, because this, this agenda is going in the next turn. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it won't go in the next turn. Yeah, it will. No. Yeah. One, two. Oh, yeah, it'll go. Yeah. It will. yeah. I just want to get here as quickly as possible. I mean, the name of our act is Run. Run. And I've I, got that song in my head. Man, he's tough. He is tough. His, his attack is four. Ooh. He is... He deals two damage and two insanity. Yeah. How much do you... I have three insanity and six health left. All right, so I... Dang it, and I threw away my bomb. Oh. I threw away my dynamite in my oh. mulligan. Oh. Now, I guess it's oh. still in this deck somewhere, but I could have taken care of it with some dynamite. So I can... So the most I can do is deal two damage to it. You mean per fight? Per fight, if I succeed. So I can... I could... I can pull out a thing and I can move and then I'll get one attack on it which will do two points of damage but it'll be engaged with me but I can shoot it oh but it'll attack you though it'll be engaged with me yeah. so when it does damage it'll damage you and you'll be dead unless you can come in and do the rest of the damage to it right now I could conceivably do three but, but see the thing is I have nothing to boost the best I can do is tie with it, which you said is a 33% chance. Really? That's the best you can do is tie with it? Mm-hmm. Jeez, Steven. Because I have nothing else I can throw in. Because it's fight is four, right? And it has... Oh, thank goodness it doesn't have retaliate on it. Yeah, it's fight is four. Okay, let's, let's just pause in this car for a moment and maybe get our act together. Get some resources? Yeah. Uh, That's cause... fine by me. All right, so let me do this. I'm going to three. Yeah, I'll just sit here and take three resources. Yeah, and then the fourth one, and then yeah, and then I can get more ammo on ammo on this. Although I can only use one, but it's still not boosting your fight that much. No. Okay, so what? Here's what we can do. Unless there's a card that will that I that has a fist on it that I can pump that up. We can't get see if we were in there at the same. Okay. Oh no! But you can pump me up now, right? You can pump up one of my things. So okay, here's what I can. Let's let's. So I can pump you up. Right. Get in there. Yeah. Get engaged. No, you don't want to engage. If you pump me up, that means I can pump up my fight, right? Right. Which means I can move in here, which I'll be up, which I'll be up by one on it. Well, I can pump you up by two, actually. Oh, okay, so I'll be up by two on it, and I can use two attacks on it, which would be two and two, so it would still have one health left Right. at the end. You can move in. No, I can't, see, because if I go first... Oh, right. Right, that's the thing. So if I pump you up, then I've got to go in there, and I've got to hit it. And you're not going to hit it. I can hit it, yeah. You I can, can? I can hit it. Because if you can pump me up, then yeah, if I'm beating it by two, there's a good chance that I will be able to to kill it. Right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's do that. This could be the end of the game right here. <laughs> All right, let me... Because let me... we don't know what this car is either. It could also have a forced lose some things. But we got to do it, Brad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to optimize this. I've got a thing. I've got a fast thing I can do that will lower its fight value for one turn. Um, for one. For one attack. Oh, so, okay. so I can come in. and I can get in one attack. 
do I want to get in? Do I want to knife and knife it? Do I, I think you had something that would like hit it. Well, I see that doesn't even. This is the worst. <gasps> Wait, Stephen. What, Brad? What if I go in and instead of fighting it, I evade it? Its evasion is three. Oh, I'm sucky at evading. I say go in and fight. Let's just kill it. Hmm. No. If you, can, if you can just hit it for one one power, if you can hit it for one health, I can clean it up. Okay. I All think. Right. Two All and two. Right. Yeah, I can hit it for four points. All right. It does not have retaliate, right? No, it does not. Okay. You're, you so promise you're pump you me can up. hit it for four points. Well, yeah. I should. If you're pumping me okay. up by two. All right. All right, then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go pump me up. Pump you up plus two. Okay, so I have two. All right, then to I my punching power. to your punching power. For then my gonna... first action, I'm going to spend three resources. Okay. Oh shoot! I'll need those back. I'm going. <laughs> I need okay. four back. I'm going to bring up my shriveling spell. See, I'm, what I'm worried is I'm going to open the door and walk in there and I'm going to get hit with something yeah, horrible. That's what I'm afraid of, too. But I think this is really the only way to do this. So that's my first action is to get the shriveling spell. My second action is to move. Okay. Passenger car. God dang it. Passenger car. Uh, after you enter a passenger car, you must either discard a card from your hand with at least a with at least one question mark icon, or take one damage and one horror. I can do that. I can't. So that's my second action. Yeah. For my third action, I will spend one charge. I will fight using my will. Instead of fight, okay, I will spend one resource on my higher education to increase my will by two. So my will is at five. So I'll spend two resources, put my will at six versus its fight of four. Okay, so you're up by two. I'm up by two. Auto fail. Okay, well. Wow, we may we may be tanking on this one, buddy. All right. Um, and it's so is it engaged with you now? It it is engaged with me now. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, I think this is it. Now listen, you can. I don't know what you. Well, can do. okay. So first of all, I'm going to move into here. Okay. I automatically take one. What is it? Take one horror and one damage. One horror, one damage. I'm pumped up by two on my fight, so that's at five. I'm going to spend a resource to pump me up to six. I'm going to shoot that thing. Oh. There are also two clues here. Ugh. And I get this, so this is... Minus two. Right? We're in agenda two, yeah. Okay, so two minus whatever I was at. Uh, four, five, six. Yeah, four, five, six, and it's at what? It's at four. four. So I hit it. I hit it for two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend another ammo. I'm still up by six, so it's four. And I tablet it, which is minus two. Add one Doom token to the nearest cultist enemy. I think that guy is a cultist right. enemy. It is. But I hit it for two more. Okay. So one regular four. damage and then plus one damage. Okay. And, and those are your three that's actions. That's my turn, which is not going to be good because this is rough, man. All right, enemy phase. Enemy phase. So it, it hits, hits me for, for two one, damage. 
two damage. Three. So I'm at four of my five. Okay. And I also take two horror. So. Oh, boy, Are you I. Dead? No, no, no. I'm one hit point away from dying. God dang it. I really let me down that time, though. I. I really let me down. Okay. All right. Upkeep. I can kill it next Upkeep turn. Fate. Well, I can for sure. Well, I'll get I can't it. say I can for sure kill it. I'll get it. You sure? Three actions. I'll get it. All right. Reset. Exhaust. Mythos. Okay. So our agenda is now going to it advance. Will advance. Yes. The next train car is ripped backward with violent force. A middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips. No doubt a wizard <laughs> of the order. A middle-aged man hangs from his fingertips as the car flies unhindered toward the rift. In moments, the car is consumed whole and the man lets go rather than be pulled into the void. He starts to fall, but is caught by the rift's force and pulled inside it anyway. Oh, no. Good enough for him. Wizard of the order. Does he go back in there or does he get removed from play? Uh, da, 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 da. Discarded. Each okay. enemy and asset of that location is discarded. Discard all clues controlled by the investigators. All right. I have no clues. All right. And rolling backwards. The pull of the rift in the sky seems to grow stronger, and the entire train begins to roll backwards along the tracks. The rearmost cars of the train begin to rattle, the force of the rift threatening to detach them. You must get out of these cars as fast as you can. All right. Um, let's draw one card and get one resource. What? Yeah. Did we was, forget that? Yeah, I guess we did. Oh, good for us for remembering, or good for you for remembering. All right, that's a pointless card for me. A uh, pointless card for me, too, at this point. But we'll take that resource. I can okay. use that. Yeah, I wonder why I thought that that advanced the mythos. Oh, well. Oh, uh, yeah, because we just zipped past that part. That's okay. okay. I get Ancient Evils, Omen. Place one Doom on the current agenda. The effect can cause the current agenda to advance, which it does not. Okay. At this time. We've got four on this. Okay, Brad. Frozen in Fear. Oh, Yep. Put frozen and fear in, play, in play in your threat area. The first time you perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade each round, it costs one additional action. Forced. At the end of your turn, test three will, if you succeed, discard frozen and fear. All right, fine. Look, here's what I'm going to do. You want to go first? Um, oh, uh, yeah, I did mine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so I can, I can go first and I can kill that thing. Well, I hopefully I can kill that thing. Okay. You go first. You try to kill that thing. If you don't, I will. Okay. And it doesn't have retaliate, so that's okay. And right. since I don't have a shotgun, when I if I miss, it's not going to hurt you. Right. Okay. So I'm at a fight of three. Oh, no, that'll only equal me. So maybe I need to go first. I think you do need to go first. All Can right. you free action it and pump me up? Or... Uh, but if I no, I'll just pump me up. Okay. So I'm going to increase my will to five. Now it's going to take you two actions to fight this thing. Well, let's let you go first. Here, I got a thing to do. I'm only tied oh, okay. with it. All right, no, I can't. I got to do. All right. So I can pump myself up, so I'm at five. Um, I don't get plus one oh, for this. King, well, no, evade would take two. Yeah, I can actually, my shriveling spell is pretty okay. pretty vicious, actually. Okay, go ahead and eviscerate it. You only need to hit it for one point. Yeah. Now, the other thing I could do, though, I only need to hit it for one point. It's at four. Okay, it's let's do this. Five. I'm going to give myself fight. I'm going to increase her fight. You sure? Yep, up okay. to four. All right, well, now you're even with it. Now I'm even with it. I'm going to, though, I'm going to expose a weakness. This is a fast play during any uh, lightning win player window. 
Choose an enemy at your location. Test lore X, where X is that enemy's fight value. For each point you succeed by, reduce that enemy's fight value by one for the next attack performed against it this phase. Okay. So, my lore is six because of Dr. Mm -hmm. Milan Christopher. And it's fight is five, so I'm at plus one. If I spend this... No, it's fights at four. It's fights at four, that's right. Its health is that's at right. five. That's right. So I'm at You're six. At I'm at plus two. So for each point I succeed by, I can reduce it by one for the attack performed against it this phase. So you still have to test. And this isn't going to work out well either, is it? I still have to test. And is this an action? No, this is a fast. Okay. Um, okay, forget that. Not, You're not going to do it? Not doing that. I'm going to do this. Okay. Just, just fight it. Now, I'm, pump, I'm pumping up my will. Right. Then I'm going to spend one on my higher education to further pump up my will. Okay. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Against its four. Against its four. Three. I'm up by three. I'm using a shriveling. I'm up by three. What does the shriveling do? Shriveling uh, lets me use my will instead of fight. Oh, okay. And it deals plus one damage. Okay. Oh, I missed something last time. Um, that that auto fail symbol should mm -hmm. have made me take one horror. Oh no! So I'm at six horror. And how many horrors do you have? Nine. Okay. Oh, oh God, God dang it! Believable, Brad. Steven. What the heck? Did you even shake that bag? Unbelievable! I have to take another horror. I'm at seven. I'll cash these in for three. And that was two actions right there. Uh, no, that was just one. No, action. you're frozen. It takes two actions oh, to do anything. Oh, that was two actions. Oh my god! Right? Isn't that what it says? Two actions to do that. Yeah, a move, a fight. Oh, Stephen! Should have pumped me up. Well, you have one action left. Resource, draw a card. Because you can't really do anything else. Well, I could try to shrivel it again. Okay. And I can... Okay, here's what I can do. I'm going to try to shrivel it again, but this time I am going to expose its weakness. Okay. And, but so is this a... I this mean, is a fast you, action. Okay, but no what, I'm, what I'm asking is, if you're trying to attack it again, you don't have enough actions left to do it. Oh, that's right. I only have one action left. Right. And so as long as one of those actions is, what, what is it? What is your hex? Move, say? fight, or evade. All right. So I will just give me a resource. Uh, which means you're going to get attacked. Which means I'm dead. You can't kill it? I can, but... Oh, that's right. It doesn't have retaliate. Right. No, but you're taking a resource, so that's an attack of opportunity. Oh, so... Oh, no, it's the first time. Okay. Okay. Okay, the first time I perform one of those actions. Oh, okay. All right, okay. good. All right. So you it can says fight right there, it again. The first time, yeah, so I can do it again. Okay. <sighs> Boy, that was, that was terrifying. I want to win this, Brad. I know. This is the I easy know. mode. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Now you're going to, you're going to, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed I didn't do this Okay, so before. now you're going to use I'm, that, I'm, you're going to use that thing. I'm really embarrassed that I didn't do this before. Okay. There's that. I'm okay, going third to time's a test charm. lore, where X is the enemy's fight value. I get to pump my lore up. I'm going to use... Um, and I can pump up your lore by quite a bit. Perception. To pump up my lore by two more. Do you need so my, my I'm, I'm at five, six, seven, eight, versus it's four. I'm at plus four. Um, I can throw in one. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in a flashlight. I was gonna throw in one too, so Yeah. All right, that'll pump so you up by one more. You're at nine to its five, four. Nine to its four, so I'm up by four. So you gotta do that first. This is just the lore test. It's just not the, the fight. lore test. Okay. okay, so I'm up by seven. Seven. No, seven. Nine minus two, right? Oh, okay. So seven. Is seven. 
Minus four so is by three. three. So I lower its fight by three. So it's down to one. Right. And I also, my perception card lets me draw a card. Okay. So its fight is down to one. One. My shriveling. Now, is this still part of the, is this another action? Oh, this is all part of the fight this action. This is all part of that fight okay. action. So that's going to cost me one resource for my shriveling. Now is the fight. So its fight is one. I'm at three, four, five, so I'm at plus four. Shuffling the bag. You're like magnetically attracted to chaos tokens. Elder sign. Perfect. Blammo. Plus get... zero. And I get a card for having a tome. Yeah. And anything else? Do you get any other magical thing? No. Okay. But I do do two points of damage so to this dead. emergent monstrosity, which is worth a victory point, by the way. Excellent. Now, does it go back into the uh, discard pile? No, it goes into our victory okay. pile. Excellent. <sighs> okay. Right. So that's your turn. We're not out of this yet. We are not out of this yet. Boy, that stinks. Because I'm going to hunt for a clue. And the shroud is one. And we're testing intellect, right? Intellect. You My can intellect is three. Do this. Should I throw some things in to eh, my intellect is three. I will just go ahead and throw in uh, Dean and DeLuca here for an extra one. So that'll pump me up to four, so I'm up by three. Okay. So first action, clue. Zero. Yay. Clue. Second action. Throw in a flashlight. Now, you know, you've got your streetwise, although that costs um, I don't have two enough resources, resources do. doesn't it? Never mind. Okay, I'm going to throw in flashlight okay. to pump me up to four. All right. Minus two, so I beat it by one. I All get right. the other clue. All right. Third. Third We're action. Moving. moving forward. And we have, God dang, these passenger cars. Whoa. Of course, it's a train. I don't know what I expected. Yeah. Um, forced, you, after you enter passenger car, you must either discard cards from your hand with at least two total fights or take two damage. So I'm going to take two damage because I have nothing. I have no cards that have fights on them. So I am... Five, I'm three health away from that. And how many are you away? Well, I'll die if I enter the passenger So car. this is up to me then. So uh, I'm stuck here until clues. I get some cards or get some healing. One clue per investigator. Sorry, sorry. Shroud of four. Oh, at the end of my turn, I needed to test will, by the okay, way. go ahead. And I had used this yes, to pump, pump my will, will, right? So it's six. Five. Five minus two is three. three. Wait, we're agenda. in the agenda three. So five minus three, two. no. I also still have frozen in fear. Oh, no. Yeah. Crap it. Yep. Okay, well, let's see what... All right, so now there are no enemies. There are no enemies, so now we can reset. Ready, all exhausted. Draw a card. Over. Oh, well, shoot. I wish I would have had that sooner. Um, and gain a resource. Brad, I don't want you to die. But that effectively blocks you from coming in unless you have a health. Yeah. Is there a way to heal? Do you have any heal car cards in your... Do you have I any have, heal cards in I have. Your? I have a medical tome in my deck, but not... Not ready. Not where I can get to it, so I have no... I'm, I'm All right. literally stuck here, bud. All right, well, mythos phase... And now for some horrible cards. I get Claws of Steam. Test my intellect, or my willpower, sorry. Three, fail, take two damage. Oh, I could be dead. And you cannot move from this location this round. Damage from this effect must be assigned to your assets first if available. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I'm down by one. Oh, I can throw this in. I was going to wait. But if I can at least get that chance, I'm going to throw in my contraband so I'm at least equal. And hope that I get a zero. Boom. All right. Cost me more ammunition. An acolyte. Is that my location? No, spawn any empty location. Send him to the back. 
So you got any victory points? You, no, but he does get a doom point. So oh, that, okay. Boy, Ooh. you know, clearly we should not have been running. We should have been taking our time and getting no. ourselves built up. No, how do No. Because we could have been still in the first car and all of these monsters would have spawned in that first car. Or actually, we would all have been dead. Yeah. Because we don't know what this agenda deck does. All right. Okay, so you did yours. Investigator turn. I'm going to have to search for some clues, Brad. All right. And to search for clues, I'm using what again? Because I so rarely intellect. Intellect. All right. I can. Four is pretty is. high, man. Four is pretty high. My intellect is two. I'm going to go ahead and spend two resources and bump my intellect by three. Oh, did we get resources this turn? Yes. Uh, no. No, maybe. No, I think. Yeah, because you got two now. Remember yeah. a minute ago, you so, only had yeah. one. Yeah, we did it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to spend two resources. I'm going to bump my intellect by three, so that puts me at five. Is that for the turn or for this test? For this skill test. Oh, okay. And it's a four. And so... Plus one. I'm at a plus... Oh, let's see. Uh, should I go to plus two? Because I can go to plus two. No, how are you going to get this next clue after this one? All right. I mean, I'm, not saying, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just asking the question. Minus two. So... So you fail. Well, three. Three, two, three. No, I'm at six. Two, it's two. two it's minus four. two. Is four, so I win. Well, you were a minute Spend ago, two you were... resources, get plus three for okay. this skill test. All right. My booking is three. Okay. I get pl three. That's six. Okay. Minus two, four. All right. Skills okay. challenge complete. Right. Now I don't have any resources left, but I can spend this flashlight, which will bump me up by one. Well, what if you? Which will tie me. Oh, dude, you should have bought the flashlight. Mm. Oh, yeah, because your location gets minus two. Yeah. That still wouldn't have been enough. Well, it would have been minus two each turn. Oh, it wouldn't have been enough last time, so right, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to spin this. That's going to take me to one plus three is four. Right. I'm equal. Uh, okay, no, okay, hang on. So one, one thing you could do here is you could... You, you spent one action, mm -hmm. right? You could gain a resource and gain another resource... Oh, and just sit and wait. And then next turn, pull up your flashlight. Or next turn... Because we're advancing the agenda. Dude, we you're not going anywhere if you fail oh, yeah, that skill. To, I mean, right. you know what I mean? If you don't get that clue, I cannot come up there and help yeah. you. Now, I know we're advancing right. the agenda, and I'm going to be stuck in this car also, by the way. Um, so well, I'm not, I, sure. I'm not sure that buying the flashlight is going to be super helpful. Because the only thing it will do is it will lower that to two. Right. I'm still at three. But you're at so plus at one. one. But you're, you'll be at plus one for like three tries. Okay, all right. Or two tries. Okay, so I guess I'll just take two resources then. All right. And in my turn. All right, I... Draw cards and hope one of them's a heal. Yeah. Can I see if I could... No, I, can, no, I can't. It gives me resources, not cards. And you're still um, two actions, or what? what is your deal? Well, drawing cards uh, don't cost me. I know, me but it's two still actions. anytime you do fight or any of those. Fight other... or move or evade, it costs me one additional action. And you have to test your will to break that? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go one. And when do you test your will to break it? At the end of my turn. Okay. Two. Three. Oh, no. You're going to have to discard some cards. Revelation. Put the Necronomicon into play in your threat area with three horror on it. Oh, are you dead? Nope. Just I'm going to have to suffer because now... now this isn't the cool Necronomicon. Now this, this is, is the, the bad, bad Necronomicon. Necronomicon. And you can't get rid of that, can you? Right. So I'm going to have to drop my knife or my encyclopedia, and it's going to be the knife. Get rid of the knife. I mean, unless somebody comes at you. So I still have no cards with fight value on it. The knife was a card with fight value on it, right. of course. Um... All right, so I'm going to... That's your first action. No, those oh, were two, that was two three actions. actions. Oh, three actions, okay. All right, I'm going to exhaust my encyclopedia to give my... Will? Will 
at 5, so I'm at plus 2. We are in the third agenda. So I have only a 78% chance, plus my Necronomicon is out, which lowers my chances by 6%. So I've got a 72% chance of success. If you can throw something in, throw something in. These are two things I really want. In fact, one of these things, if I could do it, I'm not going to throw anything in. I'm going to take my chances. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I'm going to take my chances. So I'm at three, four, five, minus three. I'm at plus two. Cultist. Uh, minus one. If you fail and it's your turn, lose all remaining actions and end your turn immediately. I did not fail. Okay. Good. You got rid of that. I did. Your turn is over. It is. I still have no no cards to help me advance. Okay, enemy phase. Um, nothing. He doesn't. He just sits there. Does he gain a doom token? Nope, he does not. When does he gain a doom token? He went on oh, he spawning doesn't? when he oh, was spawned. Okay. All right. Uh, reset. Unexhaust. One card. And one resource. Okie dokie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to discard nine. I'm going to discard my flashlight. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we are advancing the agenda now because um, we are now up to four. All right. What's it say? Two of the train cars closest to the gate are severed from the rest of the train by a sheet of impossibly hot steam, which slices through metal like a knife through butter. The cars are sucked upwards and fly into the gate. Something above the train lets out a terrible screech, though to your ears it is like the shrill sound of a broken steam pipe. Remove each of the two leftmost locations from the game. Oh no. Yes. Uh, so this one actually goes in the victory display. Okay. Um... Each investigator at those locations is defeated. Each enemy and asset at those locations is discarded. Discard all clues controlled by the investigators. Okay. Let me guess. It's going to say you're going to need like 57 clues to solve this. Drawn in. Three. Okay. The gate crackles with power as its strength increases. Dirt and rocks from the edge of the bridge behind you are torn from the ground and trees are uprooted, pulled in by the gate. One younger passenger smashes the window of your car and shouts, We gotta get out of here! He leaps out the window, but before he lands in the river below, he is snatched in the talons of a swift flying creature and is carried out of sight. A trail of steam is left in the creature's wake. Steam monsters, huh? So there's only three doom left. Yeah, well, here comes the here comes the next bad thing. I'm getting an arcane barrier attached to my location. As an additional cost to move into or out of this, test my uh, my brain power. If successful, discard arcane barrier. Otherwise, you must either cancel the effects of the move or discard the top five cards you deck. Oh well, I can do that. Your card. I don't want to draw a card. <laughs> Rotting remains. Oh, Revelation no. test three. Will for each point you fail by take one horror. Please don't fail, Brad. Well, I mean, you got the hex out of the way, so that's a positive thing. Yeah. I'm going to throw an old book of lore at it. Okay. Um. So that's four to its. To its three. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll spend. Might as well, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Because you don't want to die. Yeah. So I'm six to its three. I'm up by three. Plus one. Nice. All right. That's good. Oh, Stephen. Okay. All right. Here's the deal. I'm just going to. No, don't. Don't. Don't die. No, 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 no. I'm just, just going to say I'm just going to draw some cards here. 
Um, okay. I have a card mm-hmm. that has question mark icons. That's on wild. It. So it can be anything. Well, can it? Yes. Because one of the passenger cars said, "Turn in." Wild question mark. I, I think I'm going to draw cards, but I have a card that has two wild cards on yeah. it. It can be anything you want. Well, but but there was a, the other passenger car that said specifically turn in a wild card token. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it wanted you to turn in the wild card token at the time. But wild cards can be anything. I kind of want to look this up. That's fine. I mean, I don't think you're going to find anything because it just says wild, and there's nothing in there that says under W wild. See, but the, so I know, I know the, say anything in the there wild wild. the wild icon can be used in any skill test, but I don't know if it fulfills this requirement. What I'm saying is, it's asking for, well, for look fist it up online, icons. But I mean, yeah. Let's let's take a minute here. Sorry. So this is a person who says on Board Game Geek, uh, I would say that you can't discard a wild in place of a book when it shows the book icon, or you know, in any case. Um, and then somebody else says that's how they've been playing it as well. Wild you can or you cannot. cannot. Oh, wild okay. icons never count as anything but wilds. You can commit them to skill tests because the rules for skill tests allow you to commit matching icons and wilds, not because wilds count as other icons. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. And then somebody says, um, this is an answer from Matt Newman some time ago. Uh, yeah, when not in the context of a skill test, wild icons don't count as other icons. Okay. So. All right. But listen. You can either draw cards and hope that you get a fist or hope that you get a heal or something. All I need to do is get this one car or this one this one chip and then get into the engine and then we advance the act, which hopefully is we win. Okay. I'm going to do a thing. I'm okay. going to spend my first two actions getting resources. Okay. All right. So give me two resources. All right. I'm going to spend my third action this is a real risk spend my third action ditching my encyclopedia in favor of the old book of lore and what does it do for my free action i'm going to exhaust the old book of lore and look at the top three cards of my deck None of these are helpful. And you get to put them back in any order or? No, I get to take one and shuffle the other two back into my deck. I'm not even sure there are two fight icons in my deck. You may not have any, right? I think I had the switchblade. I had the knife. Is that the the only thing? I know it might be the only thing. I'm really curious when this game is over, I want to look at those other two passenger cars. Or the other two cards that were part of this train. Yeah. Just to see what, you know, horrible things that... Yeah. Because we could have been in a situation where we ended up with nothing but passenger cars. Now, the other thing I can get that will save me, though, is my medical text. Oh, right, right. That's the thing that you need is a medical text. Okay. Because that will heal me. Okay. But you're done. I'm done. Stick a fork in me. All right. Time for me to test... My intellect. Test my lore. So, here we go, Brad. All right. I'm going to spend three resources. Or I'm sorry, two resources to get plus three to my to my intellect, which boosts me up to six, which puts me ahead there. This is the mistake I made last time, right? Instead of lowering it by two? No. Yeah, this is the way I want to do it. Okay. I am going to throw in my flashlight. Okay. So that now I am one, four, seven to its four. So I'm beating it by three. Okay. And I get a zero. Perfect. I get this clue. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, now this thing says... um, as an additional cost to move into or out of the attached location, test my intel or my uh, willpower, 
if successful, discard Arcane Barrier. Otherwise, you must either cancel the effects of the move or discard the top five cards of my deck. I'm going to cancel the. I'm going to discard the top five cards of my deck. Okay, are you gonna, so you're going to take the test. I am going to take the test. Okay. What's, what, what's your what's your two two to it's it's um, four I think. So you're minus yeah, four. two. I'm in a minus two. And I get insta fail. All right. So okay, so that fail is a fail. All fail right, is so a fail. Mill five cards. I'm getting rid of vicious blow, which would have been nice. Think on your feet. Dodge. Oh, Professor Warren Rice. Mm. Uh, how many cards was that? That's four. Okay. And uh, Opportunist, which is five. All right. I'm now moving for my second action. Okay. I'm moving into this location, into right. the engine room. All right. Hold on. I need to flip this the over. The train first, has right? no. The train has stopped. Uh, oh, okay. So if an investigator enters the engine car, immediately advance. All right. Uh, the investigator entering the engine car reads the following out loud. Okay. I wonder why I should not flip this over yet. Uh, a tinder car filled with coal blocks your way to the engine cab. Swallowing your fear, you climb out of the nearby window and clamber onto the roof of the train, making your way across the tinder car. The deadly backward motion of the train makes it difficult for you to keep your footing. As you get close, a winged creature swoops down from above, its body composed of piping hot steam. You must decide. Choose one. Damn it. What are you choosing? I can either test my agility, which I've got plus one on this. The, the test is three. I've got a four. Okay. Or I can test my fight. It's got three. I've got three. I can pump that up by two. So I, I'm up by one, and I have no resources to spend to bump me up even higher. Or I can test my fight, throw in a card, and bump myself up by two more, which would put it to five to its three. So it's you're up by one or you're up by I'm two? I'm up by one or I'm up by two. Well, what are the odds differences? If I'm up by one, disadvantage, or I'm no. sorry, uh, if advantage I'm plus one, one is 17%. No, advantage one. Advantage plus oh, one. Advantage plus one. Well, I don't understand how you do this. Do Why this. can't you just say, hey, if you're at this plus one, you have you've an, got a 33% chance of winning. You have an advantage of plus one. Right. Okay. What agenda is it? It is the fourth agenda. So you have 55% chance of winning. If your advantage is plus two in the fourth agenda, you have a 78%. So it's a 55% versus a 78%. Okay. Well, then I'm going with the fight then. Okay. In an attempt, okay. So I'm testing my fight, which my current fight is three, uh, to its three, to attempt to endure the creature's extreme heat. If you fail, the creature flies through you and the heat burns you, you suffer one physical trauma. Ooh, a trauma. Not a damage? No, one physical trauma. Ouch. That'll follow me forever. Yeah. I will be scarred. Yeah. I'm willing to do that. Yeah. I think I can beat it. Yeah. So. In the skills, I'm throwing in Overpower, which has two fist cuffs on there, which puts me up. I wish I had that card. Right? Yeah. That would be nice. Oh, that's my that deck. puts me up by two. Okay. Right? And I haven't even flipped this card over yet. Yeah. And I draw a minus one. So I win. You win. Okay. Now, read this. All right. Get the engine running. You've managed to make it to the engine cab, but now you have to get the engine started again so you can outrun the pulling force of the gate. Objective. If there are no clues in the engine car, immediately advance. Okay, so we're going to find out whether we immediately advance or not. And we get the locomotion. The train engine car is connected to the location. Forced. After you reveal engine car, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a grappling horror and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. There are four clues in here. Two clues per investigator. All right. There's a grappling horror. I will shuffle the encounter deck. And so what does grappling horror say? Uh, it's that same monster you had before. It's yeah. a hunter. 
Yeah. Uh, while you're engaged with grappling horror, you cannot move. Doesn't tell it's... me I can place it anywhere, does it? No, you. It, it's it's on okay. you. All right. Well. Do you have an action left, or was that your? So my first action was to get the clue. Okay. Second action was to move. Okay. I'm guessing that wasn't an action no, for the act. No, no, that was not an action. So I have one action left, which will be oh, wait. to. Uh, no, it was not. Which will be to punch this monster in its frickin' face. Okay. Uh, I've got a fight of three. It has a fight of three. I will throw in. Well, I needed to throw in that overpower before. What's your horror? Six. I've got two horrors, so I've got two chances to kill this okay. thing. Okay. All right. Which I'm going to take one, but I might be able to kill it the next time. So. <gasps> what? Did you screw up? Are you dead? No, but I just realized Dr. Milan Christopher can take one of those. Not from, oh yeah, from you. From the. So yeah, I, from moving in. Yeah. So you could move in. No, I can't move in because it was still dead because I need, because I've got four of them. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going <sighs> to use my gun, spend one ammo. Uh, my fight goes up to four to its three. And I draw a minus one, so it takes two damage, one regular damage, and if I win, it takes an additional plus one damage. And that's my third turn. Okay. All right, enemy phase. It's going to attack me for one and one. All right. So that's uh, six. six. And five. I have one left. So I'm going to have to kill this on the next thing Man. and somehow get four clues before anything else bad happens. All right. All right. Let's reset. Unexhaust. Draw a card. Oh, shit. And gain a resource. All right. I got my treachery. Amnesia. <laughs> Choose and discard all but one card from your hand, which is okay. Yeah. All but one card. Oh, all but one card. Yeah. I was only at one, one card. card. Aha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Good job, Amnesia. Good job, Amnesia. I forgot how to play this game. <laughs> so one resource for you. Got it. One card for you. Got it. Um, check your hand size. Got it. Mythos phase. <sighs> Horrible card time. I get a mysterious chanting. Hex, place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. There are none. There are none. If there are no cultist enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. Oh. That's not good. Well, that means I'm going to engage with two enemies. No, not necessarily. Depends on what cultist. So that acolyte would bring up a doom on it. I don't like that. So what if? Uh, I think it's the cheapest one. The cheapest one. It's no, it the just easiest says, one to beat. Well, I need the one that has. So you, you, yeah, search it for a cultist and draw it. Um, well, or you can take, see, here's the thing. You could take that old man wizard guy. What is that guy? He spawns at an empty location. Well, okay, so you're definitely not moving anywhere. Well, I can, it's, if, if, if he gets a doom, if we bring up an acolyte who has a doom on him. Yeah. Then. Closer to being I'm the dead. end of the game. Right. Yeah. Do you have to, is that where you pulled it out of? No, but I did search through this. Oh, so. okay. Man, this is all up to me, and I don't think I can do this, Brad. Oh, I have infinite faith in you. Although I really wish Zebulon Waitley would, would realize that we're a little late into the station and then and then come exploring down the rails. Well, I just wish Dunwich had a stupid uh, train station so we didn't have to come to the next town over and then be driven. God. You know, we're probably in Dunwich now. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Right, I've got to draw one of these. Yep. What'd you get? Advanced Doom Marker. Acolyte. Any empty location after Acolyte enters there are play. No empty locations. Place one Doom on it. Now, is that is that a case? What is an empty location? Empty location. Page 10. An empty location 
is a location with no enemies or investigators at it. Okay, so there are no empty locations. So it engages with you, right? No, it does oh, not it spawn. Just doesn't. Oh, okay. Right. If you can't spawn it, let's right. double check that. I think if you cannot spawn it at a place, spawn. If an enemy has no legal location to spawn, it does not spawn and is discarded oh, instead. Oh, okay. Well, you were Yay. lucky. That was fortunate. You were lucky. Wow. All right. Uh, your turn. All right. I'm going to exhaust my uh, old... Let's see. Okay. We drew... Okay. Yeah. Yep. Exhaust my old book of lore to draw the top three cards of my deck. I'm going to draw this one. Okay. Which hopefully, might be an interesting and a, useful card to me. Hopefully. But it might be the only... That was your first uh, turn. No, that wasn't even a turn. That was my free book action. Oh, okay. So you have three actions to go. Yeah. Okay, let's hope that you got something. Why I oughta... But the problem is you're going to enter here and then immediately engage with that guy. Which you could evade, I suppose. One, one thing But at you time. also have to break through this arcane barrier. In order one to thing in. at a time, Stephen. I'm just trying Dude, to think just, ahead. Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah. No, we're going to live in the moment. Look, there may be no tomorrow. Tomorrow, maybe. Good thing is the shroud of this engine is only two. Yeah. All right, I will draw a card. God, my shriveling spell. You know, now, do I have to discard from my hand? Yes, from my hand. Yep. Okay. You've got a pretty big hand size there, Brad. It's yeah. almost the size of the remainder of your deck. Oh, my treachery card. I get yeah, minus wait. one to each of my skills. What'd you do? I drew a card. As a, one of your as actions? A, as my first action. As your first yeah. action? Okay. Yeah. And my second action. <gasps> Steven. Yeah. Heal yourself up if you can. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. But I can move. Well, you have to do this first. No. That's to get out of that no. space. No. Move into or out of the attached location. Oh. Test your intellect oh. or your willpower. Well, that's not so tough. Or, you know, and if you fail, you burn the top five cards of your deck or take some damage or something. All right. And in addition to that, you also have to discard two fists. So my third action would be to move. This guy would automatically engage me. And he will attack you for one health. attack me for one health. Kill poor Dr. Milan Christopher. That I'm not, could probably be okay. I'm not too worried about it, to be honest with you. Now the fact is... What can I do... All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to discard mind over matter and a knife to move. Okay. I am going to test my will at four. What's that card in front of you? This is my hunted. Oh, okay. It makes my we have minus one to each of my skills. So my will at four, my will is three minus one is two. So my will is two. And so you discarded two fists, right? What what were the two cards that you just discarded? Yeah, a knife and okay. a and a which were fist cards. Yes. Okay. Um, combat cards. And... So I'm going to discard. I'm going to play Daisy's tote bag. That gives me plus two to my will. So you're now tied to it. Right. And I'm going to spend a resource. It'll put me at plus two on the will check. I'm going to go ahead and also spend my Arcane Studies, put me plus three. 
Okay. Well, let's double check that. So I've got minus one. So I'm three minus one is two. Three, four, five, six, seven, four. So I'm, I'm not three. by three. I'm at plus three. You know what this is? I don't know. Oh, it's plus one. There you go. All right, so that, so that card goes is gone. away. All right. Uh, nope, that doesn't go in that pile. Yes, it does. No, that's not a victory point. Oh, it's not. It goes in that pile. Okay, so this guy then will engage you. He will engage me. Do you get rid of your hex? No, that's my. Oh, that's your treachery. I have to spend two actions to discard that. Oh, okay. I don't see that happening, to be honest. With you. No. These both get discarded over here. That goes And so there. what action was that? Was that your third um, action? Yes, I drew two cards. So my third action, so my first free action was the book. I drew two cards. My third action was the move. Darn, it's too so, bad you didn't have one action left. Yeah. Because you could have moved right in here. Yeah, well, I've got I this guy on me, yeah, so that's well. something. Um, mm. Okay. I don't have Frozen in Fear back on. I didn't draw Frozen in Fear again, did I? No. Okay. Hopefully not. I mean, you drew it. I drew I mean, it, but I dealt with it, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to start my turn, Brad, and I've still got this monster to deal with. Well, he only has one hit point. He left. only has one hit point, but our power, our combat is the same. But you've got the gun. I do have the gun. All right. So I'll spend my resource there. I'm up by one. Wait, wait, wait. What if you evaded him? Well, the thing is, he's going to just... I mean, there would be no advantage. Okay. I eventually, mean, there really wouldn't, because eventually... I mean, we've got another... You know, we don't know what's coming up there. Right. So I'm up by one on the fight. I lost. He doesn't have retaliate, does he? He does not have retaliate. Ah, uh, crap it. Now we're even on our fight. What if you evade? Well, then what's going to, what's the advantage? I don't know. You won't die. Well, I'm not going to die anyway. Okay. Well, I will die. I'll take an insanity. I'll take a horror. I've got one insanity left. So evade him. He's just going to engage with me again. No, no, he will engage. His engagement would happen after, I mean, after his attack. So he won't attack you. So yeah, he'll, he'll, so if you just evade him at the beginning of your turn, then you've got two actions. Now you have one action. No, I have two actions. Well, you've spent one. Right. Fighting him. So you Well, but him. if I'm going to evade him, I'm up by two on that. Okay. Without spending anything. Okay. Um, and I get Broken Tablet, minus two. Add one Doom Token to the nearest cultist. Um, okay, so that, that's you. That triggers. That triggers the mythos. Mythos thing, okay, so he's evaded. He is evaded. Triggers the mythos. Okay. You're gonna die. Maybe. The two rearmost train cars begin to melt as they are filled with superheated steam. The metal warps and the passengers inside scream in agony. Ah! Uh, the cars are ripped from the train tracks along with the rail slats and chunks of the bridge behind you. Remove each of the two leftmost locations from the game uh, or place it in the victory display. If either one has victory X and no clues on it, each investigator at those locations is defeated. Each enemy and asset at those locations is discarded. Discard clues controlled by the investigators. Bye, Brad. Wow. I am defeated, Steven. Now, this didn't really work out well for us. No. Because, so what does this mean? You're dead, you're out of the game? I'm, you're out of this game. I'm out of this game. But does that mean you're out of the campaign and you have no, to start no, over no. with a new character? No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to have some trauma, I think. <sighs> okay, so that was my <sighs> second well, turn. so sad. That was pitiful. That was my second turn. I, I got I to gotta attack him, right? I mean, it's the only thing I can do. I mean, I can try to get a clue. Yeah. Good thing we're on easy. All right, well, I'll try to get a clue. I'll, I'll burn two resources. That'll pump me up to six. Now you could, you could, okay, yeah. Was, never mind. 
What were you going to say? I was going to say you could just sit and gain more resources, but... It's not going to help me. It's not going to help you. Oh, wait, i got to read this also. Oh, okay. The rift in the sky twists and shakes, completely distorted. Its size is now massive, its shape warping and shifting as if it is about to explode. This is not good. This is not good. I don't see how the story can continue if this thing gets out. And I get, oh, an elder sign. This is good. Okay. Okay. Because not only do I get the clue. Okay. Um, I also gain two resources from it because I succeed by well over two. That's good. That's actually really good. I mean, it doesn't help with the fighting of the monster, but it's good. Right. That was my third turn, right? Okay. It was your third action. Okay. Okay. Gain a resource. Draw, Draw a card. card. Wait, oh, and the monster's not engaged, yeah. The monster's not, yeah, I mean, but, yeah. Right. Um, ready all exhausted cards, so he becomes unexhausted. One card, one resource. Check my hand size, not a problem. Add to the mythos. And I get... Ancient evils, an omen. Place one doom on the current agenda. The effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Which is fine. <laughs> okay, investigator phase. I'm going to fight it, and I'm going to kill it. I'm at a three, it is at a three. I am going to play my overpower, which gives me two. It says, what is max one committed per skill test? Means you can only play one overpower card per oh, skill Oh, okay, test. all right. But I can still get the two. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm up by, by two. two. Oh, this game's over. Unfortunately, uh, death head token. Minus four, minus five. Minus five. Five. All right. That's one action. <laughs> now where are you, where are you at? Attacking at three to three. I mean, I, I can't do anything else. The game's the game yeah, is yeah, over. Yeah. yeah. Zero. Okay, I win. It's okay. dead. It's dead. So you got a victory point on it? Nope. I don't think it would matter. I don't okay, think. final. Final is, I'm going to spend two resources. Pump my up to six. Get a clue. Whoops. Get a clue. Minus five. Minus five. Uh, six minus five is one. one. Fail. Done. Enemy phase. No enemies. Reset. One resource. One card. Oh, Guts, where were you when I needed you? Oh. Um, mythos phase. The entire bridge cracks under the pressure of the gate and breaks apart. Instead of plummeting into the river, the remaining train cars are pulled into the sky toward the rift. You hang on for dear life and scream in horror as you are pulled into the gate. Then everything goes black. Each surviving investigator is immediately defeated and takes one mental trauma. So, so you got to mark down. I get a mental trauma. So you have one mental trauma. I have one physical trauma. Wow. All right. Well, here I thought this uh, was going to be really easy. Did yeah. you think this was going to be easy? I thought this was going to be a cakewalk. I really did. I, I thought we were. We were just fine. So read R2, Stephen. Is that what we're reading? Yep, R2. Uh, read Investigator Defeat first. Uh, let's see. Investigator Defeat. If at least one investigator was defeated, the defeated investigator reads Investigator Defeat first. Okay. Yeah, before well, resolving any other resolutions. Right, well, we were both. Read, I'll read, okay, yeah, read the was, top right. one first. You experience, your experience beyond the gate is simultaneously terrifying and impossible to recall with clarity. A hypnotic spectacle of lights, otherworldly sensation, and altered geometry dances at the tattered edges of your mind. An unearthly voice from beyond rings in your ears. It's significant and enigma. When you awaken, you find yourself in the woods several miles from the Miskatonic River. Destroyed train cars surround you. They are crumpled, as if from a severe impact. They are also decayed, as if years of rust and squalor have claimed them. There is no sign of the other passengers. All right, each investigator who is defeated 
has acquired the Across Space and Time weakness and must add one copy of it to his or her deck. Oh my. All right. I think, uh, I think you were also defeated, by the way. No, I was a survivor. I was not defeated. I ran out of the agenda. What does the agenda say? What does it say? Each surviving investigator is immediately defeated oh, okay. and takes one mental trauma. Sorry, Jack. Each investigator who is defeated wins, earns one bonus experience as his or her experience beyond the gate grants them insight into the cosmos. Well, hey. So you got what? So we got, we got a bonus experience. Okay. The invest, if an investigator with the Necronomicon Olas Wormius translation in his or her deck was defeated, in your campaign log, record that the Necronomicon was stolen. The Necronomicon must be removed from that investigator's deck. Oh, now I'm... The one that we just got... Yeah. ...is now stolen. So you got to... Uh, Hang on. Okay. Necronomicon... ...was stolen. All right, fine. All right, well, now we have to, because I've got these guys, let's find my guys here. Professor Warren Rice. Stupid dynamite, Dr. Henry Armitage. Okay. If an investigator with Dr. Henry Armitage card, okay, mm -hmm. or the Dr. Francis Morgan card in his or her deck was defeated, in your campaign log, record that the character in question was kidnapped. The associated card must be removed from that investigator's deck. So it goes back into whatever story it goes back into. Dr. Armitage was kidnapped. Wow. Now, if no resolution was reached, each investigator was defeated, go to resolution two. Resolution two. Rattled, you begin walking alongside the train tracks, making your way towards Dunwich. In your campaign log, record that the investigators were delayed on their way to Dunwich. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory point value of each card in the victory display, in addition to the one bonus experience point that we got, or that you got. Okay, so that would be um, just two, I think. I don't think there was anything else. Yeah, it seems like you wasn't set them there, all aside. Wasn't there a monster or something, though, that had victory on it? Unless it was a grappling horror or that uh, giant fell beast thing. So it looks like we're only getting three victory points or three experience points. Oh, yeah, the emergency... Oh, I had it in here. Okay. The emergent monstrosity had... So we were getting three victory three points. Three victory points. By the points. way, did you spend your two from... I did not. You did not? I did. All right, so we get three victory points. To One. be continued, the story continues in the next Mythos wow. pack, the Dunwich Legacy Cycle, Blood on the Altar. Well, that was... Uh, that was... Well, first of all, we've made it into... We've gone four games... Yeah, we've gone into three scenarios. We've only we've lost one game in that process. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. But Henry Armitage is out. The Necronomicon is out. The Necronomicon, all that extra work we went to, Brad. And and getting an extra um, token in the bag. Okay, so here's the thing. We played this on easy. I thought we were playing this smart. Maybe we went in a little bit too cocky, and it's like, yeah, spend resources. Let's do this. Let's yeah. do that, right? Um, that may have been our downfall, or my, my downfall at least, was being too cocky. Yeah. Um, because I really thought that this was an, an easy game. Yeah. Yeah, I thought why we had did, Why did you think it was going to be easy? I thought we had it just because it's just, it's just a race. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Right? I mean, and, I, and, and so there were some stupid things, like, I mean, the weird, unlikely occurrence that we would, that the last passenger car would be the icon that I have so few of in my hand, in my deck, 
and I was exactly where I could not just go ahead and take the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and the other thing was maybe we should have, like, you know, as we, as there were a couple times where we were like, yeah, I don't have those cards, so I'm taking the damage. And maybe we should have there been like, you know, if I wait one more turn, I can draw those cards. You know, if we just slow down a little bit. Um, that might have been the thing to do. So know. I'm not going to ruin this for the for the viewers at home, but um, on the other two cards, the other two train cards that could have gone in, mm -hmm. um, one would have hurt us, one would have aided us. Okay. Um, but you know, there's a there would have been a fifty fifty chance of either one of these two cards getting into oh, yeah. the deck. So, yeah. and and that's actually the beauty of this game. And and I, and and seriously, sincere kudos to the designers. Oh yeah, yeah because yeah. Because they could have given you just enough train cars, and just enough engine cars. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Like and always, there's like oh, we're gonna throw in a couple of extra cards you won't even use because we're gonna make things switch switch up a little bit. And I really appreciate that. Well, but so what I like about this, and this gets into the replayability, yeah. is because you don't know what's coming. Now I know what all eight of the train cars are. I didn't look at the engine cars because there's two other engine cars right. that you would have had to have gone through. That makes the re replayability pretty interesting. And because it is random, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, I do like that. I was, I'm super disappointed in myself. I just, I really thought this was going to be a lot easier than it was. But I, as you said, that, that one car came up right at the last minute and the passenger cars do hurt us. I mean, well, regardless a... as you play this, I, hmm, I wonder, I mean, we're playing on this on easy. I mean, people who are playing this on standard or hard yeah. would have been annihilated because those forced actions, unless you built your deck just right. Yeah. I mean, you have almost zero fight. On no, your actually stuff. I have, I just was discarding it. I've got a couple. Well, where did of, you take most of your damage? In I've a got a fight? couple of knives. I took from those stupid passenger cars. Yeah, that that makes it really tough. Yeah, I mean, you're really coming out of this scarred. Yeah, I mean, I should have slowed down and just said, I'm "Just going to draw a couple cards." No, because it still is a race because you're running against the agenda deck. Yeah, but I sat there and I, I spent two turns just twiddling yes, but my notice thumbs. how it went. One car. Yeah. One car. Yeah, because I cars. Thought, yeah, and then two cars again. And then two cars again. Yeah. So. Yeah, which I also was not expecting. The two car one was like, oh no. Yeah, because the rift, rift gets even bigger as it's yeah. swallowing you up. What do you yeah. think's inside the rift, Brad? What are these steam monsters? Oh, I tell you. I don't know. Well, we're well, going to find that's out. That's actually the question on the Across Space and Time weakness. Oh, is it? Uh, the, the flavor text on that is, what happened on the other side? So apparently you just kind of space out for a minute. So that is, okay, so let's talk about failure in this game. The way this should have ended is we should have died, right? And in, in a normal game, oh, yeah. in any other game, um, you would have died and that would have been the end. And if you wanted to play again, you would have had to start over from the beginning and work your way through, right? Yeah. What's nice about this is it kind of has a good GM yeah. uh, mode in it where even though you're, you should have died, something miraculous happened, and you only, you only walk away with some steam burns on your face. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. I, I take a trauma. And I and I take a mental insanity and for I've everything got, that I've got, And we've got a little bit of treachery here. Which goes into our deck. Yeah. Um, so Like a jerk, a jerk GM would do something like, uh, when your friends try to get you psychological help, you get carted away forever yes. and never appear again. Yes, uh, yes, yes, roll yeah. a new character. Yeah. So I, you know, I'm okay with this. I'm a little saddened that the one that we thought was going to be the easiest was our downfall. Hmm. But Boy. I had fun. I mean, I, I still had plenty of fun playing. I didn't feel like we were, like, ripped off. I didn't feel like oh, this Oh, no, 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 no. You know, last game you got a little salty because you felt like we, the I game sort of threw us a, a monkey yes. wrench, a horrible, which we completely yes. got around. I, I know, we won and that th one. But this one, I don't feel like we got monkey wrenched. I feel like, yeah, we didn't play that. Very well, and then even then, up to the end, I almost I want to play it again just hope. to see how it would turn out. Yeah, you know, just kind of like in a solo mode or just kind of a reset mode for this. But I, I really want to get to the next thing, which is Blood on the Altar. Yeah, yeah, because that's... I want to see what's going on. I, and you know, just the the name itself, Blood on the Altar, 
implies some pretty <laughs> bad stuff going down in the city, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, um, so I kind of I want to see what's going on with the fine well, folk at Dunwich, but we lost the Necronomicon. Yeah. We lost Armitage. Mm. Uh, we luckily the passengers didn't affect us, except for the damage that we took. Yeah. I, you know, the forced action, man, we should double check that because if it's each time you enter, it it makes it almost impossible to want to go back. Well, backwards. yeah. Yeah. You're not going to want to go backwards. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. Yep. It Hopefully you enjoyed this game of uh, Arkham Horror, the Essex County Express. Uh, we've got a comment section below uh, to share your thoughts, reactions, things that we may have missed. Uh, if you have any questions, podcast at Majorspoilers.com. We want to continue playing these games and producing these shows for you, and we can use your support for that. So head to Patreon.com slash Majorspoilers. You can find out more there. It's right there. There's a link. There's a link down in the show notes as well. Patreon.com slash Majorspoilers. You do get some bonus content uh, when you sign up. And plus it goes to, uh, to right back into producing content uh, for you. Uh, I think that wraps it up for this episode of Munchkin Land. Thank you, Brad, for joining me again this Thank week. Thank you, Stephen. And until next time, remember, it's not cheating if you don't get caught.